Michelle makes fool of herself at boozy lunch without Barack when shocked people see what she did. Despite not being the first lady any longer, Michelle Obama seems to still wants to live like one, but now has the added benefit of not trying to keep up political appearances and also the advantage of a fully paid security team at all times. She hasn't stopped rubbing elbows with Hollywood elites, as was evident at brunch this week along with something else shocked people saw. The former first lady was known for hosting lavish White House parties and putting rappers and their wives on the guest list, who she was seemingly desperate to be friends with. This socialite mentality appears to have stepped up a notch now that she's not under citizens' constant watch or so she thought before what was just caught at her boozy brunch that has made many people irate. Page Six reports that Michelle met up with Hollywood heavyweights, actress Sarah Jessica Parker, reporter Robin Roberts, and Oprah Winfrey's best friend, Gail King at the swanky Breslin restaurant in New York City for brunch. The women were reportedly surrounded by a tight wall of secret service for their entire meal, which included champagne and Bloody Marys. While sipping on adult beverages with your nice meal is really no big deal, it was the excessive security she brought along that was a foolish overuse of taxpayer funds for brunch. It's ironic that the people who are so against the protection of a wall and use of firearms, including Michelle and her liberal lunch friends, require an armed barrier of protection around their booth. Michelle probably feels like she paid her dues for eight years in the White House, which she used as her cool card to get the in with celebrities around the country. Many people feel like she exploited her role as first lady for this reason and think that lunch outings like this show it. While she's allowed to come and go as she pleases. The problem that needs to be pointed out with her post-White House behavior is that she preached something much different while she was first lady, than she's actually practiced especially now as a civilian. Michelle is touted among liberals as the most exemplary of all first ladies that the U.S. has ever had, but didn't seem to show the role the respect it deserved. On the contrary, Melania Trump is ridiculed for every respectable thing she does as Flotus, a wife, and as a mother. If she were seen day drinking with anyone, the country wouldn't hear the end of it. She's ripped apart for far less and nothing that anyone should be criticized for. Michelle's champagne-filled lunches make her a real woman and a role model best friend type that liberals love to praise her for, but Melania would be called a drunk or worse if she was doing the same. Michelle is more than welcome to drink to her heart's content at lunch with her gal pals, but let's not put her on a different pedestal than her successor if Melania were to do the same, which she wouldn't. If conservatives were like liberals, this comparison and difference in treatment could easily be turned into a claim of racism. However, the fact is, that it's nothing more than the left being jealous and looking for things to hate within Melania who doesn't give them anything. Michelle is certainly an independent woman and that's not necessarily a bad thing, in the same way that being a traditional wife, like Melania, should be equally acceptable. After all, it was her choice and she's a great example in her own right because of it. However, Michelle is seen without her husband Barack a lot now that the two of them don't have to keep up the appearance of a perfect marriage, as was recently seen when she the former first lady went on a secluded island vacation without him. Such a romantic venture seems to be one you would want to take with your significant other, but not if you're Michelle Obama. Celebrity news site Radar Online reports, ex flotus Michelle Obama was floating on a yacht off of Spain just before Labor Day weekend but the former president, her husband Barack, was nowhere around. Michelle's apparently solo vacation could raise questions about the marriage as Barack has previously been seen traveling solo and not wearing his wedding ring, as Radar has reported. If liberals don't like the questions raised about Michelle and Slash or her marriage, then they should stop drawing at straws to find something wrong with Melania. Turn about it fair play, and believe me, there's far more that people can say or question about Michelle than Melania. Share if you are happy that class is back in the White House and will never have to worry about public drunken debauchery and double standards from our current president and first lady. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.